Okay, here we are. It's June 14th, 2010. A swarm of bees has just arrived at the bookstore. About 30 minutes ago, we have called uh, Lisa and Rob Fifield at Hickory Grove uh, Landscape Company. They also do bee removal, so they're going to come here as soon as they can to uh, check out the situation and see if there's anything we can do about it. We hope that there is. When they do get back, uh, we'll sign back on and see if we can follow this whole process today. Signing off for now. Thanks. Okay, this is about an hour after our initial report. You can see now the number of bees has increased dramatically and they are beginning to swarm and gather uh, right at the corner of our front porch here, right where the, right where the front door is. Uh, this is about an hour after our first report. We're still waiting on the bee removal people to get here. And uh, we hope that's going to be very soon. Uh, when conditions warrant, we'll be back with another report. Thank you. I'm gonna get y'all on the video. All right, the, all right, the five fields have arrived. Oh, yeah. Help has arrived. I'm dressed like this. This is uh, Lisa and Rob from uh, Hickory Grove Nurseries. As a sideline now, are removing bees. And they have arrived to evaluate the situation. You so, are cracking me up. First of all, let's be clear. They're not here to kill bees. No. They're here to capture the queen Absolutely. bee and hopefully start a new colony. So here sure. they're looking, and we'll leave them to their to their work. On YouTube, I said, "Oh, goody." <laughs> I'm not gonna even look for it. He laughed. All right, here we go. Rob is suited up, <laughs> and he's fixing to try to get under the. I'm not, I'm not sure what he's fixing to do, but he's fixing to try to find out how these bees are getting under here. And he's gonna go under the house and try to. Uh, you should take it with you, just in case. And that's probably a good one to take with you because it folds yeah, up. Isn't he brave? All right, that that is the leg. The legs of. Okay. Rob Fifield as he goes under the house in search of the bees. This is his uh, bee container which he's left outside. I guess we'll have to hand it to him here in a second. But we're now going to wait on Rob for a report and we'll check back in. Alright, so Rob just came out from under the house and here's the report. Go ahead, Rob. No bees. No, no, bees, no bees under the house. No bees under the house. That no means... No bees under the porch. No bees in that bay of the floor joist underneath. So that means the bees are somewhere else. Because we know they're bees. What does that mean? Well, that either means two, one of two things. It means that that was a swarm and they've left, or that they've gone someplace else. And they could be inside this wall. Yeah, because you're probably not insulated, are you? Old house. Like that. that would be an interesting place. Nice. Rob is now making the I'm bees setting. mad <laughs> while I'm standing here. <laughs> We are backing up. Honestly, let's get this come, come out. I think you do need to go in the attic. All right, we are now going to leave Rob his own devices for a second. <laughs> Signing off this segment. <laughs> we'll check back. Oh. All right, Rob is now going into the attic, <laughs> which is rarely done, and see if he can find any bees in the attic because we didn't find them under the house. Uh, there's no light up there, so the filming will have to stop here. If I find some, I'll come back and get the camera. He'll be back in a second with a report. Okay, here's Rob descending from the uh, attic a few minutes later, and we're soon going to have a report on uh, what, if anything, he found. We don't think he found much, but he never did holler. There are, no <laughs> there are no bees in the attic. There are no bees in the attic. No this is uh, across so space above. No, there's a ton of places for bees to build up there, but it's too hot. Those bees are not going to be happy to be up there. So that may be why you had a few dead bees in your life. Uh -huh. They're they not dead. They're they didn't alive. stay. Okay, so the report is no bees in the attic, no bees under the house. Uh, we just so we will uh, we're going to let the experts scratch their head here and cogitate for a while, and then we'll be back with a uh, the final report of the day. All right, now it's getting pretty exciting. 